Haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer. You're right. I've failed everyone, even my family. Someday, maybe I'll get courage. Stranger, I thank you for your aid. We must press forward. If you are willing to aid us, you are welcome to join us. Very well, then. I should have expected as much from an outsider. Thank God someone's come. You have to help me, please. You can mock me all you want. I don't care. Just get me out of here. But... But why? No! Quit gawking, smooth skin. We're on our way to Tenpenny Tower. You know anything about the tower? Oh, really? You goddamn bigot. You smooth-skinned bastards are always oppressing us. But we're done with all that. So we're going to take that tower by force and teach you all a lesson. In fact, the revolution is going to start right here and now. Start running, smooth skin. Thought I got one. something. We'll get him. I'm out of ah, here. Damn. Ah. What did you say about my mother? You... you take that back! I'll show you. I'll show all of you. When I'm gone, my mom will really miss me. Hey, mister, can you get us out of here? Thanks for nothing, ass. I was in an old basement. Where there were bottles of pure water. Stacked everywhere. Of course. Uh, I'm sorry. Other than you, I uh, only have myself to talk to. Uh, I know very little about uh, civilized conversation. Please, please. I can hear it moving, pulsing. Just, uh, just leave me alone. Make him shut up, please. Just make him shut up. No. No way. He'll set the bombs off if I go anywhere near him. Oh. Um, well, you look like someone who's pretty smart. So if you say so, I'll give it a try. Okay. Here I go. We can work out a trade. We've got some stuff around here that we don't need, but a smooth skin like you might make use of it. What? What are you talking about? Do nothing? You... you wouldn't dare. I've got... I mean, I'll call for help. This is the last mistake you'll ever make. Help! Somebody help me! Hi. Hey! Oh! My husband built this place way out here for a reason. Rest his soul. Well, that's the most insulting thing anyone has ever said to me. Here I offer my hospitality and you spit it right back in my face. Watch the sass, Captain Sassy Pants. I can still hold my own if I have to. My husband made me learn a thing or two about how to defend myself. Besides, I have a caravan come through here about once a week. They'd miss me if I was gone. That's disgusting. I'm old enough to be your grandmother. I won't have that kind of talk in this house. Come on, help me get this color off. Please!
Oh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, do it. It's worth the risk. You're evil. Introductions are in order. I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. You may refer to me as Madam or My Lady Wellington. Tisk tisk. You were raised by beasts, weren't you? Poor thing. Did those ghouls send you here to torment us civilized folk? Seriously, though, they have everyone on edge. So mind your manners. I do hope you're not referring to me. I'm certainly a better conversationalist than some stupid ghoul. And I smell better, too. Glad to see a friendly face out here. I swear that damn book nearly ended me. This so-called Wasteland Survival Guide, it's a piece of crap is what it is. Serves me right for taking advice from some crazy girl's book. Well, I'd have to be an idiot to listen to this piece of crap. Here, you think so much of it, you take it. Fat lot of good it'll do you. If you're here looking for water, I'm afraid I can't help you. All the water is at Project Purity. If you want a handout, head over to the Jefferson Memorial and ask for Scribe Bigsley. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy coordinating military operations. <laughs> Say that a little louder. I've got a lot of disgruntled men who'd be happy to prove you wrong. Now, remove yourself before I have you arrested. That's Hood, civilian on deck. Whoa, Nelly! Sensing combat inhibitor removal. Guns are hot, firing for effect. Welcome to hell, you zombie freaks! Every hey, day is a good day Over to here. die. Found you. Made in the U.S. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Where <laughs> Is that you? Oh, my head's still ringing from that explosion. What happened? Oh, don't be silly. Why would you blow up our town? You're talking crazy talk. Wait, what? Look out! Hey, knock it off. I think we need to talk. I've been hearing things. Things that have happened out there. Megaton destroyed? You? Y you didn't have anything to do with that, did you? What I did can't even compare to such a thing. All those people. You're still my son, and I love you. But I can't begin to tell you how disappointed in you I am. We'll talk more about this when there's time. We can't go any further. We need to stop. Garza is in need of medical attention immediately. He has a heart condition. I will not leave him behind. I said I will not leave him. Now look around for any sort of medical supplies. There must be something we can put to use. Now there was no crime oh, for that. Howard. You're gonna you pay done? for that. You monster. How could you do that to him? You're inhuman. I won't forget this. Hail to you, stranger. I am Knight Captain Dusk, in service of steel. If you require anything, simply ask. Ha! <laughs> Funny. Here's some free advice. You're our guest, so I'd be real careful about who you insult. That sort of thing might fly out in the wastes, but here in the Citadel, it'll earn you a few broken teeth. See? That right there? That's the sort of shit that gets a man injured. Did I stutter? Get out of my face. Oh! Oh, really? Look, I know how you wasters are. You cap a few red scorpions, and you think you can walk around like you own the fucking place. But things work differently around here. You got a problem with that? 
Then you go ahead and meet me in the lion's den after lights out. I'll solve your little problem the old-fashioned way. H Hail to you, stranger. I am Squire Maxon, loyal servant of steel. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Well, yes, if I may speak my will, you do, sort of. We do not have many guests in the Citadel. And when we do, they're usually visiting brothers. Outsiders are not to be trusted, so says the Codex. I don't... I'm... I, I'm... If Elder Lyons chooses to show trust in you, then by the oath, I must trust you as well. Sometimes, I'm afraid that their missions end in their deaths. As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each fallen brother's deeds. Okay, well, as you can see, we're having trouble keeping track of our soldiers in the field. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. Really? I assumed that you would have taken after your father. I assumed incorrectly. But from what I've heard, he died with honor. He died for you. I only pray that my own death has such meaning. Then you did not know the man. I knew your father. I knew his goodness. And I will not have you sully the memory of a noble man. Go now. I have nothing more to say to you. What the hell? The, the whole place. It's, it's gone. It was you. You did this, you goddamn murderer. You've killed them all. Kill this traitor. Kill him. You bastard. Enemy contact. I oh, my you, ah. you hear oh. me? Hey! Oh. 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 Last week, we were forced to choose someone to gather ingots from the steel yard. Bill volunteered. He didn't want anyone to have to die out there, but he's a survivor. He can't be dead. You look like you can handle yourself. Could you look for him and bring him back? Any luck finding Wild Bill? Oh, that's wonderful. Where is he now? Did he come back with you? Oh, no! That's horrible! Poor Bill! Bill... He, he was alive? Please, please stop. I, I can't hear any more of it. I, I don't feel so well. I, I, I think I'm going to faint. Please stop it. I don't feel... Uh, I'm going to... Uh. I'm sorry. I've been a poor host. Uh, please, take this. There isn't much, but I want you to have it. Well, please give the clothes to someone who needs them. I'm sorry for annoying you. Maybe it's best that I leave you now. No! What? Where am I? What happened? How long have I been out? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? That isn't very funny. If my guys were here, they'd kick your... Oh, shit. My team! What the hell happened? Look, asshole, I don't know who you are, but no one talks to Riley that way. Yeah, you heard me. The Riley of Riley's Rangers. Nice that you pick on bedridden people. That how you get your jollies? Does it make you feel tough? If you want to hear me out, then shut the hell up. If not, get out of my face. Those things, they're gonna get me too. Can't stop now.
No, you don't care. The grown-ups never cared. Now they're all dead. Well, fine. You'll just die, too. Oh, no. What happened? You... You know what you are? You're a big asshole. That's right, an asshole. My papa said never to say that word, but you deserve it. Now what am I going to do? My papa's dead. Poor papa. Uh, Dr. Weston Lesko's my name, and it's uh, good to make your acquaintance. Uh, what brings you to my little experimental ecosystem? Oh my, such rude behavior. I'll have none of this from you. I have far more important things to do. You utter buffoon! You've set my work back months, perhaps even years. Destroying the mutagen was not part of what we discussed. I hope you found me a place to live. What is this weird thing? You son of a bitch! How could you do this to me? I lost everything and you sell me to slavers? Get away from me! I never want to see you again. Hey, smooth skin. Do you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? I see how it is. What do you need? Don't hit me! Now there's ah. no call for that. No! Natural selection at its finest. Gob? Yes, of course. He's my son. Well, not really. Not like you would think of a son. We ghouls don't really work like that. But I love him like he's my own. Do you know him? Have you seen him? Is he all right? You... you what? You son of a bitch! This is hopeless! Ain't none of my business. Look, Herbert, he's back. I told you. Oh, no, 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 no. Fire would be too painful for me and poor old Bob. Ye keep that stuff away from us! The Great One is dead, slain by your hand. Don't worry, I hold no grudge towards you. You'll have to forgive my people at a time like this, outsider. They aren't used to being so lost. And for once, I don't have the words to help them. Your words sting, outsider. Normally, I'd have cast you from this place for such a statement. But my eyes have been opened. Could you actually be a pure human? What's the matter with you? I assure you, I'm unlike the others in this dank place. The name's Fox. I'd shake your hand, but this room happens to be my prison cell. Ah, your arrogance against my kind is hardly surprising. However, there is only so much even I can take. Please, I'm appealing to the positive side of your human nature. Can we have a civil conversation? No, very well. I was hoping my first encounter with a human would have proven more beneficial. I'm saddened that I was mistaken. Truly free. Please, help me. You've got to get this collar off of me. 
What did I ever do to you? I had myself a ghoul manservant and everything. So, uh, you ever met a ghoul before? If you weren't a child, I'd show you what this old man can do. If you're going to get yourself killed out here, you mind doing it further away from our bunker? I don't want your corpse stinking up our little patch of heaven. Wrong answer, scum. Look oh! My friend! I see I've found you at last! I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue, to repay my debt to you. You were my rescuer, and my only connection to this world. So I felt compelled to see you safe. But if this is what you think of me, perhaps I should not have bothered. But I know no one else in this world. It seems I didn't know you as well as I had thought. My mistake. Stay away from me. What do you want? Are you one of them? No. Don't take me back. I would rather die than be a slave for that awful Alistair Tenpenny. No. Please don't tell Sister. I think he's a slaver. I don't want to be taken by him. You're bothering me. You don't want to bother me. No. Interesting. Never look a gift slave in the mouth, I say. Well, are you going to help me or turn me over to the slaver? Oh my god! What am I going to do now? How could you? Get away from me! The pint size slasher! Someone help me! Ah! The pint sized slasher! Someone help me! Run! Run! No. It's the pint sized ah. slasher! Oh! Please. Please help me. I need water. I'm dying. Oh, I guess that's understandable. Gotta watch out for numero uno and all. Just leave me. Just go away. I'd like to die without you standing over me, gloating. Y'all be careful. What do you think you're doing? Oh!